like this at the airport. <laughs> what a crowd. I like people who come out during the week. You're my kind of people. Unemployed. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay. You know, some people take their work home with them. You shouldn't take your work home with you, unless you're a sperm bank donor. <laughs> you think when eye doctors have sex, they go, better like this or like this? Better like this or like this? How about now? Better this way or this way? How about now? Better like this or like this? How about now? How about now? How about now? <laughs> you think when car mechanics have sex, they go, woo, woo. Ooh. All right, take her off the rack. Let me hear you say ha. Ah. Now go ha ha ha. Ah. Hey, who needs jokes? <laughs> Let's reggae man. My name is Tommy and I'm here to say I like to be down in Jamaica way. I don't know much about the island ways, but I have learned a lot in one whole day. You get up early in the afternoon. You go outside till you see the moon. Your skin is burning, but you feel okay. Cause you've been drinking since you woke up today. Thank you! Well, I was in London, folks. I was an exchange student here when I was in college, an exchange student from Brooklyn College, New York. Ever heard of Brooklyn College? Uh, to most of you, it sounds like a contradiction in terms, doesn't it? <laughs> Brooklyn College? Okay, Brooklyn House of Detention, I can buy. But Brooklyn Institute of Higher Learning? They have that? Actually, I, I studied theater, but I know you can just picture a Brooklyn College theater student doing Shakespeare, you know. Hawk, Vinny, is that the cops I hear, pray tell? <laughs> I'm a New Yorker, it's good to be home. I'm actually from Rockaway, Rock Rock, Rockaway Beach. Y you can't go to that beach anymore, uh, as you know, but if you hold a syringe up to your ear, you can hear the ocean, so. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm glad we're in the Middle East because we need the oil, just in case our oceans get clean over here. Well, it's good to be home. Uh, I grew up in uh, housing projects, very tough neighborhood. You know what housing projects are? These are apartment buildings that they arrange in a circle. Of course, that's to fight off Indians. It doesn't work because the Indians get in anyway. Look, Haji, one bedroom apartment, get the whole family. <laughs> Indian welcome, we are welcome here. <laughs> Engines. No, lovely people have the red dot. Either they're Indian or there's a, or there's a special at Grand Union, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> Murray, you need a price check on the Indian woman? <laughs> She's not going through. The woman's going, please let go, you're hurting me, ouch. I'm a person, please leave me alone. L lift your thumb, it says two for 89. With the red dot, we are special, let us go, please. For people. You sound like a friendly crowd, but you know, if you were home right now, you'd be sitting with that thing pointing at me, that thing. It's ready to zap me off any second you don't like a thing I said. That's right. We love that, we love that remote control, don't we? We're so lazy. Don't you hate it when you get home at night and you sit in the chair finally, and you realize you left the remote control on the television set. <laughs> We're so lazy. Don't you wish you had a remote control to get the remote control? <laughs> we love this move, this move. This is it. This is all the exercise we get nowadays. Why don't we learn this in gym class? Why don't we take this? The only problem with this exercise is the more you do this, the bigger this gets. You get fatter as you work. <laughs> See, we love this because you don't have to watch anything you don't like, especially commercials now. If they had the right guy for the right commercial, maybe we'd pay attention. Mick Jagger for Chapstick. <laughs> this is the guy for that product. Chap it up. <laughs> because my lips are stuck. <laughs> the right guy for the right product. Ted Koppel from Nightline for Excedrin. <laughs> Did you see the size of his head? <laughs> if I get a headache, I wanna know what Ted's taking. <laughs> say though if you remember college it probably wasn't that good 
Yeah, college. You know what I got out of college? This next routine. It's a poem I wrote about college, and I call it, oddly enough, college. Orientate. Registrate. Roommate. Nauseate. Hot plate. Confiscate. Alleviate. Inebriate. At least eight. <laughs> Urinate. Oops, roommate. <laughs> Fornicate. Copulate. Have no date. Masturbate. <laughs> Matriculate, postulate, contemplate, formulate, sleep too late, graduate, 1.8. How do you keep up? You know, you got to have that hip haircut. A lot of guys have that right now. You know, that skinhead thing with the goatee. You know, that Nazi Amish look that's going on right now. It's the look that says, screw thee. <laughs> Very hip thing. No, then you gotta have a row of earrings. Have you noticed, like a row of earrings, I think. What are they preparing for, curtains? What's gonna go next there, what? <laughs> Clothing is a statement in the 90s. Unfortunately, my statement is, attention Kmart shoppers. <laughs> we make fun of Kmart, but you know, Kmart's starting to look good around Christmas time, you know, to get those little crappy gifts for those people you really don't give a crap about, but you gotta get some little crappy gift. <laughs> then you gotta watch the regulars in Kmart. You know, there are regulars in Kmart, people who think the K stands for quality. <laughs> you know, you can actually t tell the regulars in Kmart when the announcement goes, Bob to the front, please, Bob to the front. About half the store goes, okay, Bob, all right. Skip, skip to the front, please. Skip, please. Eileen, Eileen to the front, please. Neil, Neil to the front. Wanda, Wanda to the front, please. Wanda. We gotta laugh, right? It's been a rough couple of years here. First, we had trouble in the Middle East with Iran, then there was Iraq. If this goes alphabetically, what are we gonna have trouble with the next country? Iraq? <laughs> what is it, some country with people going, I have the oil to make the gas. You want to drive, you kiss my ass. <laughs> Iraq. Iraq. Yeah, how much younger can these rappers get? Pretty soon they'll be popping out of the womb going, What's up? That's the new baby rapper, I teeth. You see, we're sick of rap because we grew up with rap. We had rap when we were kids. We didn't call it rap, we called it Dr. Zeus. Remember those children's books? Wasn't that rap? Think about it. I do not like you, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. One fish, one fish, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That was rap. It, it just had no beat because we're white people. We call that poetry. Hey, this Bud's for you. No matter what the heck you do, this Bud's for you. Everything's brought to you by Bud. Alcoholics Anonymous, sponsored by Budweiser. So much commercialism on sports. Play of the game. You make the call. We make the commercial. It's every single minute of every game is broken up by a commercial. Pop up behind home plate. That pop up is brought to you by Pop Tarts. That's right, Kellogg's Pop Tarts. <laughs> Foul back. 
Hey, speaking of foul, Frank Perdue has a special on chicken this week. You want to check it out. Bath has fries, 99 cents a pound. You want to check it out. Here's the other one now. Uh, slow motion replay was brought to you by the post office. <laughs> now, here's the other one. Football season. The guy's going to win the Super Bowl. What's the first thing he's going to say? I'm going to Disneyland. Like the first thing this guy is thinking? I think they take this out of context. Here's what really happens. John Montana, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do? <sighs> hey, if you don't mind, I'd like to catch my breath, fella, before you stick the camera in my face. And I'd like to congratulate some of my teammates over here, if you don't mind. And I think later on, me and the boys are going to go try to nail us some 15-year-old chicks. Oh, yeah? Where are you going to find them? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. You've been a great crowd. I'm Tommy Connors. How many times a day does the news have to be on? I want, it's like, it's always the same. It's always, coming up at seven, someone who looks exactly like me saying the exact same stuff in almost the exact same way. <laughs> more importantly, I'll be back at 11 to review what happened at three, four, and five. And more importantly, to preview what's happening tomorrow at two, three, four, seven, and 11. <laughs> you think when newscasters have sex, they go, this just in. Listen, I, I can't really stay too long because I have a limousine waiting out front. <laughs> no, I have to drive some guy to the airport. So I just... <laughs> Thank you.